for Erica Stokes, a 9.575. And that will not quite get it for her. She remains in fourth position right now. Here's Shannon Miller. Shannon already a winner on the uneven bars today. The audience is going crazy for her. She hasn't even started yet. She scored a 9.1 yesterday because she fell. Full twisting double back. Oh, no. Almost exactly the same thing happened yesterday. She did it on her last pass yesterday. She under-rotated. Now she's overdoing things. It's really too bad, but you don't want it to take away from the terrific job she's done here at the festival. Two whip-overs through a double twist punch front. Great pass. One of the best middle passes being done here. Double turn, tiny little bobble there, but she goes right into the gainer back handspring, which is her gymnastics acrobatic series. It's in that area in the floor that she really needs to work on perfecting every little movement, finishing the moves, a little more polish. getting into it, which is great before your last time when you went, because you are tired here. Yeah, in fact, this is, sort of brings back memories of Torval and Dean. Pulls it around. Perfect. That's where she had trouble in the all-around competition. She nails that one and had trouble with the first tumbling run. She'll get it together. There's no question <laughs> about it. It shows she's capable of it. Oh. It was actually a better first pass than she did the day before because it was higher. A little higher than she expected, though. Good, clean form in the air. Look at that nice, tight body. Pulls it around too far. Legs are way underneath her. She has to sit down. And of course, out of bounds. That's going to be 6 tenths of a point deduction. So compounding the fall by going out of bounds. And the last run. The highlight of her routine here. It's toughed in with the double bat. She pulls it around in piked position, too, and just nails it. So Shannon Miller, an outstanding performance, but clutching the gold medal she has already won, as you can see. And that is definitely something to take home and cherish. Go, Cam! There it is. Well, as you can see, gymnastics is definitely a sport of trial and error. When you're this young, when you're just starting out, you live and learn. Well, she's had an inordinate amount of pressure on her this week because it is before the home folk, and we mentioned this the other night on the air, but it's worth mentioning again. She was actually the lead story on a local newscast here. She's been in every newspaper. Every reporter in and around Oklahoma City has been after her. That's a lot of pressure for a young kid. And she had the added pressure of winning the first qualifying meet coming into this. 9.05 for Shannon Miller. She will have better days, to be sure. Oh, you're staying up all night tonight. You can hear it's like prom night, isn't it? Did you go out of bounds, too? Now the score has changed to 8.95. That was the deduction for out of bounds, the one-tenth of a point deduction. Isn't it funny how it used to be a thrill to stay out all night, and now I dread it. <laughs> this Kim's could very well be a highlight here in this competition. She is terrific on this event. You're looking at Rick Newman right here. He's an assistant coach for Bella, and although Bella's the one that everybody knows, he's been in the background and worked with these kids since day one. Yeah, Bella, Bella has... The woman behind the man and the man behind the man. Exactly. He's got a lot of good people working for him. First pass is a full twisting double back and nails it. She does that as well as any junior in the world. Very European sounding music here. Yes. Now, what's good about Kim is see how her head is nice and high. She gets her facial expression into the routine, which matches the music. Middle tumbling run is a whip over due to a double back. Terrific. She has so much power on her tumbling. Gymnastics series, three straddle jumps. Wouldn't you like to know what her vertical jump is? 
Yes, we had the Cuban high jump eight feet today, and he might be able to learn something from this four foot five inch gymnast. And a double back landed a tiny bit short, but really recovered well. Kim Zemeska. Really nice routine. Good. Good. Excellent Good. tumbling. I got that, I know. <laughs> All right. This is a really super full twisting double back. Nice tight form. The only thing there is she pulls it around in a straddle position. Those legs should actually be together. Now her second pass. She does a whip over through to a double back. Now see, this is the level of difficulty you want to see at this point in their career. Did you see how much height she got out of that last? Keep in mind, she's what, all of four foot three? Way up above her head. And another double back. As you can see, she was a little bit short and had to hop forward. That'll only be a slight deduction. What she needs is better than a 9-7. Her score, 9-7-5, Kim Zemesko has won the women's floor exercise. So we've had four events, we have had four different winners. Three of those four winners are Bella Caroli students. It has been quite an afternoon for Bella Caroli. Now back upstairs to Jim. Jim. Thank you, Piers of Aid, uh, age out of nearby Edmond, Oklahoma. So even while some of the other competitors were getting ready to compete, crowd was crying out, it's Miller time. How about some future Shannon Millers? Well, let's take a look at at least one who hopefully one day will make it into this U.S. Olympic Festival. She was practicing in the aisles while Shannon was doing her routine. We'll be right back to Oklahoma City with more action from this 1989 U.S. Olympic Festival. As final standings, the gold goes to Kim Zemeskel. Amanda Urick gets the silver, the bronze to Heidi Kay. Erica Stokes fourth. And let's check some other results. Quite a performance by Bella's girls as they collected 10 of the 15 medals. Action here at the Myriad Center. Don't forget, two hours of live coverage tonight. More to tell you about when we come right back. Our final two hours of our 32 hours of coverage, nine days ago, of course, this festival got off to a rousing start when Flojo carried the festival torch into Owen Field. We're in Denver, Colorado to fill in the final qualifiers for our championship round.